Just as a preface, I would like to apologize for any noises going on in the background. There is a fish tank over there. I'm currently making sure that a puppy isn't tearing up my boyfriend's dad's house. So that noise right there is the puppy chewing on a bone, which is good. It's much better than the couches. Um, and there's also another dog. So there'll probably be noises going on. Sorry, I keep adjusting the camera. I'm This is a makeshift setup and I'm just trying to make it better. Um, but this is my third update to my rolling project pan, I think. If the number's wrong, you'll know because of the title. But I am excited to share with you what I have done. So I'm just gonna get straight into the products. And the first one I wanna talk about is my black eyeliner from Essence. And this one I actually have made a ton of progress on, at least visually. I am wearing it today and I put um, a shimmery shadow on top of it, but I used a total of eight times. So I've really been focusing on it compared to previous months. I've used it more this month than the past two months combined. But um, I still think it'll be around for at least another two months. It is a lot shorter and two of those eight uses was me desperately trying to find a different use for it until I actually now I'm actually kind of liking it. Initially, I wasn't really loving it, so I tried to use it as a sort of mascara of sorts, like a natural one, basically just coloring my lashes. Cause you know how your lashes might be dark in the base, but they'll kind of taper off and they're like invisible. And so like I color it and it, they, they look longer because they're darker all the way to the tips. And it actually did look good. I can go put a picture. It was very natural. I think my mistake was later I tried to put on some concealer and like other stuff and that's when it got smudgy and messy. I think it would work better if I just wore that and that's it. I tried one method of coloring it onto a spoolie. That did nothing. But then I colored it directly onto my lashes and that used up a lot of it. Um, so it was fun to experiment and that's why there was a lot of progress. Um, I have made good progress otherwise, but it would not have nearly been that much if I didn't try those things. And I don't think that's how I'm going to use it up. I actually have been enjoying it as an eyeliner, either on its own or layered underneath colors to make them more vibrant. Um, I thought black really wasn't my color, but I think it's just how I use it. I think what it is, really stark, harsh lines don't look the best on me, but if I keep it soft, if I keep it small, maybe smudged out, I don't think it's that bad, especially if I blend it in with other colors, um, then it won't be as bad. So honestly, I was using up these eyeliners because I wasn't really thinking I needed them, but I've been enjoying them more than I thought I would, and now I'm wondering if I want to repurchase them or something like them. I don't know. I did use black eyeshadow the other day and it was nice. It's just different, you know? Uh, like it's, I did that because I wanted to blend it into a gray and make it a little bit softer. This one's not as good for that. But if I do want something as like a base, I think this works better, like an eyeliner base. To be fair, you can't really see what's on top of this, but I was thinking to make it look cooler. I don't know. Moving on to lipstick. I have this ancient elf lipstick that they no longer sell. I wish they did because I do really enjoy the color, but you know, it's fine. I have made a little bit of progress, not quite as much as previously because I haven't been using it as a blush lately. I just haven't been wanting to and I've been wanting to dabble into the blushes I actually have. Um, so it's a little bit slower, but I'm not worried about getting it finished by the end of the year because of how little is left, even if I don't use it that much. But I have used it six times in the past month, so actually not a ton. And when I have used it, I don't reapply as often as I could, perhaps. And I usually combine it with the lipstick that I am also working on in this project. I am wearing them both on my lips today. I start with this one and then I top it off with this one. This one, I've made better progress in the last month. And I think they're honestly both around the same point, but this one's super soft, a bit more sheer. It's almost like a hybrid between a lipstick, like a moisturizing lipstick and a 
tinted lip balm because it is not full opacity. So it is really easy for layering because it doesn't cover up the one underneath. It just lightens it a little bit, tones it down, adds a bit of moisture and shine. And since I don't love lip glosses, this is kind of what I enjoy. A little bit of satin glowiness with a lipstick, but not something that's actually shiny. Um, so I've really been enjoying both of them. I've used this one a total of six times as well. So I think once I might have worn this only, and then once I worn this only, but most times I am combining them. Let's just get the empty out of the way. It's not surprising. This pan did hold a mixture of two eyeshadows that I used as a Franken blush topper, essentially. Um, I used it four more times this past month for a total of 20 within the project. So it was two eyeshadows. Neither were completely full, I would say, but they were also not super pigmented and it was just easy because I used it all over the cheeks and I needed to build it up a bit. It was pretty, but not my favorite. Moving on to another cheek product, which is a Franken of an eyeshadow. It's an eyeshadow plus a bunch of face powder. And that is what created the bronzer I'm currently working on. The reason I've gotten so much good progress on it, because I've only used it a total of five, six times. The reason there is a lot of pan expansion is because my concealer that I use in my base is a little bit too yellow for me and maybe a tad bit dark because of that yellow hue. So when I put the bronzer on my face, it just it makes it too dark compared to my neck. So I have been using a big brush and just dusting this on my neck so that it ties things together and I don't look super crazy. So once I finished that concealer, I finished up one of them, but I had a backup. So it'll be well until I finish it. My last product before I get into the roll-ins is my Milani Preps and Glow Illuminating Transparent Powder. I have hit, I think, Maybe last time I had a pinpoint of pan, but this time I expanded it and you know thinned it out a bit. Not a ton of progress, but it is very uneven. So it's very thin here and like not very thin right here. So I don't know how long it's gonna take. I, I use a generous amount with a really big fluffy brush. I try to make it evenly coating my face because I don't want things to be patchy over top. I have used it a total of eight times. I guess that's how many times I wore makeup this past month. Not much, not that much. So for roll-ins, I was going to just roll in the two pale shimmery shades in this Pacifica Cherry Cheek Powders palette to replace that one blush topper I used up. I've used them a lot already, if you couldn't tell. I've used them today. I haven't marketed my uses because I'm going to take a picture today, but I think at the beginning of this year I had pan in this one, but not this one, And the, but it was very like thin, so that's why the pan expanded so quickly. Um, and now I've been liking this one more than this one, so it just depends. And sometimes I just mix them together. Because I'm so pale, I like pale blushes. These I think are supposed to be highlighters, but they're very subtle highlighters, so they're kind of the perfect either glowy blush or blush topper. I'm currently wearing this one on top of this blush shade. Um, and I was just gonna roll in those two pale shades, but now I'm thinking by the end of the year, it'd be really nice to see some pan on these two actual blushes. I think there's a bit more of a dip in this one than there is this one even though I think I've worn this a bit more lately, it's, this one's just darker. So I think I'm actually gonna roll in all four of these shades. I wanna finish these two with pan and I hit pan on the two that do not have pan by the end of the year. And then I'll probably just buy, I'm thinking of buying the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter. I know a bit of a throwback, but I know I've heard really good things about how it's just like a glowy but not sparkly powder and I have a feeling it'll be similar to these two, maybe even a bit glowier, but like I really like a natural kind of glow. I don't want what a lot of highlighters provide is just like too much. <laughs> um, and I know that one's like a bit dark but it's also a bit pinky so it might be a good blush topper shade because I just want to make my blushes glowy. 
So I don't know, I'm thinking of that and I'm thinking I might also buy some blushes. I don't know, maybe by the time I hit pan on these, I'll be ready to declutter this whole palette. I don't know, I just, I'm, I like these blushes. I just wish they were lighter. But that is everything for my progress. I'm thinking next time I probably won't have any empties. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed and I hope that you have an amazing day.